it's Louise. Hi, it's Dave. And welcome back to Narrowboat Changing Pace. On this episode, we continue on the Calder and Ebel. And we mess around in a lock. That's okay, I mess around in a lock. <laughs> Hope you enjoy what you see. And we will see you at the end. Bye. Take care, bye. I've just dropped Dave off at the lock landing. There's a boat in front of us. The same boat that was in front of us at the low lock. This is broad something high lock. Um, so they're, I don't think they realised we were behind them. So they've gone up and now Dave's going to waste that water because unfortunately nobody's coming down. Which will mean that the resident moorings which are on that side uh, they'll drop a little bit. Hopefully not too many boats have emptied a lot. Now I'm just waiting in the middle of the river. We're in the river bit. How can you tell it's the river bit? Because there's carrier bags hanging in the trees. Because clearly when the river gets angry she floods and all the rubbish and people stay in the trees. I don't know whether that's a uh, lock keepers or what? Uh, brought the stupid stick up with me. Which is down there on the floor. And you don't need it at this lock. Or the next lock. Right that way. It's a little bit confusing. I'm not sure why. It's on some locks. I'm not of this. Well, there you go. Oh, I'm just about to open this lock for Louise. And we'll get get her in and get her up. So there's some visitors' moorings just past. There's some private moorings just past the lock, just past that. There's a pub just past that. Before the next lock, there's some visitors' moorings, so we'll have a look there.
Oh, yeah, okay. Will you just push that gate close for me? Thank you. I think it's being put there purposely. Yes. Intentionally like that. It will probably sunk. Yes, I mean, I think it would have sunk though. Really? They've just got up. Like Pete. The moorings, visitors' moorings, just before that lock there on the right hand side is loads of space. Fish and chip shopping village. How do you know all of this? Chinese. Mazda within five minutes drive. Well, yes, they're very nice ones, aren't they? So we're going here, are we? We're not allowed there. No, we're not. Here. After the bridge, on the right hand side. All right. But yeah, I don't want to go anymore. So stop okay. here. It's not a bad view. I'm not sure we're going to get the same yeah, no. view. Hiya. We don't have the view that they have. No. Theirs was brilliant. <laughs> Came up the lock, looked out. Beautiful farmland as far as the eye can see. We've, We've got, got trees. <laughs> Look, we're here. So it's an okay mooring. I remember staying here before. Where are we? Broad cut. It's visitors <laughs> moorings. The pub behind us. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And hit the bell for notification each and every time we put out a video. But for now... See you till next time. When is next time? Yeah, I don't know. 72 hours here. Yeah. Might be tomorrow, but it says it's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to rain day. today, mate. We'll see you when we see you. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hello. Watch yourself. I'm going to jump out now. Hopefully not falling. <laughs> oh, step on the dog. But really, I third up way there. Um, in the middle of some woodland. Trail 67, apparently. Uh, and a lot of trees have been fallen down over the path and cut. Yeah, doing okay. See you in a bit. There again. Just thought I'd show you this. Bridge over the river. I'm a little bit out of breath because I had to bike push the bike up these stairs which I'll show you yeah that went in the plan a lock over there that we came out of earlier so see in a bit back at the van trusty steed done its job much more pleasurable than yesterday's journey went well, as far but just a bit of a journey quite pleased with that so I shall load her up into the van and we shall be off <laughs>